In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this basic blurred vignette right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into the video. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you have some footage on your timeline, you want to begin by creating an adjustment layer. So we'll go down to the new item button, go to adjustment layer and we'll press OK. Now you want to drag adjustment layer onto video layer two and make sure your video is on video layer one. Now, we'll extend the duration of the adjustment layer over to meet the end of our video. So we'll just drag that over to there. And there we go. We've got a video clip and an adjustment layer, which is the same duration of that clip. Now, from here, we want to go into our effects tab and search for blur. So we'll go into effects, search for blur. And if we scroll all the way down, in the obsolete folder, we will see fast blur. Now you want to drop fast blur onto the adjustment layer. And as you can see, if we increase the blur in us in fast blur, we get this really blurred out shot, but that's too much for now. So we'll just pull this down to around 30%. And then in fast blur, we'll select this circle and that is the ellipse mask. So we'll create an ellipse mask and then once we've created that, we'll just drag these four points over towards the edges of the frame. So we'll just drag this point on the left to the left side of the frame. We'll do the same with the right. We'll drag that over to the right, pull the top up to the top and the bottom down to the bottom. Now, as you can see, doing that has meant that the edges are not blurry, but inside that circle, that is blurry. But of course we want this to be the other way around. So all you have to do is go down to the inverted box, select inverted, and then increase the mask feathering. Increasing the mask feathering is basically going to smooth that transition from blurred to not blurred. If we have this at 0%, you'll see we have this harsh fall off where all of a sudden it's crystal clear and next minute it's really blurry. So we want to pull this all the way up to around 200%. And then from here in fast blur, we want to go down to repeat edge pixels, select repeat edge pixels, and that's basically going to clean up the edges of the frame. So this is before repeat edge pixels and then selecting repeat edge pixels cleans up the edge of the frame. And there you go. That is how you create a blurred out vignette right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do consider subscribing. And if you are subscribed, then I will see you on the next video. See you there.